Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making a quick art journal layout um, with these sunflowers. Now this is inspired by a YouTube artist called um, Diane Colors. She's a Spanish artist and if you have a, a regular subscriber to my channel, you will have noticed uh, last year I did a piece very similar to this um, in my Di uh, Dina Wakeley journal. But it was a portrait version. So in this new journal, which is the Dina Wakeley 6x6 journal, I wanted to try this as a landscape layout and use sim similar sort of techniques but just play around with the placement of what I'm doing. So I'm starting off my journal. I didn't gesso this page because I knew I was going to cover the background with acrylic paints. And I'm just using lots of different dilutions paints um, in the warm colours. So bubblegum pink, peony pink, cherry pie. Um, lemon zest and I think some pure sunshine as well. Um, I'm not being very particular about what I'm doing and just putting it down you can see my paintbrush isn't particularly clean I'm blending in the colors together just to get a quick background down on my page. So when I'm finished doing this I um, go in and just get some stencils out as well. I might dry it off first. Probably I dry it off first because you know working on a dry surface would be a whole lot easier. There you go. Um, the dilutions paints are really quick drying so it doesn't take that long. Because I'm, I, I'm, I'm very impatient of trying to do things as quickly as possible I do use my heat gun a lot but for a lot of people they would paint the background, put it aside and then come back and do something else. So it is totally up to you. Before I go into the stencils, I start putting some collage down. So this is a Tim Holtz uh, music collage paper. So I've just torn it up into strips and using my gel medium to glue it down onto the page. And you'll notice um, when you put the gel medium on, the paper goes translucent. It picks up the colours from underneath and it just looks like that paper is on that page or it's been incorporated in. So this is just to add some extra detail to the background. Most of this is going to be covered up and that's fine. Um, but just in the bits and pieces that it peeps through, um, that's what I'm looking for. If you didn't have any tissue paper like this, any collage in the background would work. Or just do some random stamping onto the background. So you might have some really nice background stamps that you like um, that you could stamp onto the background instead. So once I'm finished just drying that off again, I'm ready for my next stage. Which... You can see there me tapping my fingers working out what I was going to do. So I'm just getting out some white paint. Um, this is the Amsterdam white paint and I'm painting over the top. Now it looks a bit redundant doing this in the fact that um, you know you've just put your effort into doing that background but this is what I wanted to do. So with a dried background, acrylic background, you can paint on your back, paint on another layer of paint and while it's wet and with a wet um, wet wipe sorry you can rub off the excess paint now um, this technique is called ghosting and it gives you a really cool effect the other reason about putting the white over the top is you can still see the colors from underneath but it kind of blends everything in together so instead of having lots of different patches of different colors now you get a more unified effect which is what I wanted for the background I'm just going in now with my Posca paint pens and in a blue and a pink. So I've got the pink to tie in with the background and a blue as a contrast colour. And I'm just randomly choosing some of my diamonds to colour in. I'm choosing to colour in some of the white diamonds. So again, um, taking a little bit of that extra white off the page because I have a, a love-hate relationship with white space. I'd love to be able to use it better but I tend to cover it up as much as I can. I don't know why. So I'm going in with my pink and then with some blue just to add a, a pop of colour onto my page, just as a bit of a contrast. So the stencil that I used was a 12 by 12 stencil from Kaisercraft, but any stencils would do. And um, again, they all work exactly the same. Ghosting is one of my favourite techniques to do. So um, it's a really useful one, particularly if you put too much acrylic paint on the page and you want to get back some of your background um, it's really really handy and by using acrylic paints my favorite in my art journal because once you've dried the first layer 
if you make a mistake on your next layer while it's still wet, you can wipe it off. You don't ruin it. Whereas if it's a water activated medium like um, the Dilutions inks, ink sprays or watercolours, it's a bit less forgiving once it soaks into the fibre of the paper. So obviously you've just seen me get rid of a load of white and now I'm going back in with white again to highlight my um, diamonds. So I, I, yeah, I don't understand me either. Now I'm going in with these Carabelle Studio stamps, which are the random geometric circles, and I'm going in with a light colour. Um, the reason I'm doing that is I want to paint out my sunflower centres, so I want a circle to draw around, and I'm going to be using those Carabelle Studios in the centre as my focal point. So I wanted to make sure that my circles that I paint were roughly around the same size as the stamps are going to be. So just by stamping in a light colour, it meant I've got a guide to paint around, but it's not going to be seen in the final image. So this is the Dilutions Lemon Zest, I think, yellow. It's a cool yellow. And then I'm just going in with my finger with the Pure Sunshine, which is a warmer yellow, almost an orange tone, just to add in a little bit of shading to my sunflower. So as you can see it coming along. Now these don't have to be sunflowers. It would look quite cool if you just left it as sort of a random geometric shape floating across your page. Um, the, what, your world is your oyster with how you do this. So I'm going back in with my heat gun just to dry off these circles because there's a little bit more I want to do with these. So when I originally did this layout, I hadn't actually stamped in the centre, which I really... I went back and did it afterwards and I really liked the effect. But one of the things that I did with the original video was I used some oil pastels. So these are um, called the Portfolio Oil Pastels from Crayola. They are a water soluble oil pastel, but any oil pastel will work the same. Now you'll see me rubbing them in and blending them in. The reason they are blending so well is because I'd actually heat set my page, so my page was still warm. So they just blended into the background, which made this process really, really easy. If I had a layer of oil pastel on my page, it would be quite difficult to stamp on because oil and inks don't really mix all that well together. Because I heat set it and rubbed it into the page, it gave my stamping something to adhere to. So if you're using oil pastels on your page, I'd suggest, and you want them to blend better, try heating it and rubbing it into your page, and particularly if you're going to stamp over it. Now this is um, a direct um, inspiration from Diana Colors on YouTube, if you go check out her channel, with her doing her sunflowers. She just drew some really simple lines off her sunflower. So I'm just using a Posca paint pen to do that. Using the black as my focal and the bigger spikes and they're overlapping. And then when that's dry, I'll go in with my white paint pen just to add a little bit of extra detail. So there could be sunflowers, there could be daisies, I suppose. I'm also using my Posca paint pen just to sort of randomly outline the circles, just again to sort of tie it all in together. So with the white paint pen, you're doing smaller sort of V straight V shaped strokes off the um center circle overlapping where your black lines are so it sort of all ties together and again this is a really really quick easy way to do sort of random abstract flowers instead of stamping in the circle you could use a bit of collage and um, you could maybe cut out a circle of some gel prints to have in the middle there's all sorts of things you could do this to customize it for yourself when I've um, done this though I really love this as a landscape page. I, I really love my original page which was portrait but uh, this one just seemed to work a lot better for me. So I, this is um, the 6 by 16 Awakely journal um, and it's a great little journal to work in um, and if you've been following my channel um, I've, every Friday or most Fridays I'll be posting some quick videos from me completing this journal with lots of different styles so if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that if you're enjoying what you're seeing. So I'm just finishing off this page with a stamped image from Dina Wakeley as well. 
um, the artist is life, stop thinking, just create, because they're my favourite quotes and they just work so well on here. One of the things I do with a lot of my um, quotes though when I stamp them is actually just put a little bit of shadowing on them or highlighting I suppose, just with a, a thin white paint pen. Just again to help them pop off the page and look like they're sort of more handwritten rather than just stamped. So that's pretty much it. That's the end of the oh, that's the end of the page. It was such fun to do. Um, it certainly encouraged me to use my oil pastels more on my pages. I tend to hold off from using them, but if you've got some, break them out because they're a great art tool to have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you later.